Hi, my name is Dr. Kale Stoley, and I am a professor of physics and engineering here at Doan University. A little bit about me, I graduated from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. I got my PhD in engineering with an emphasis in biomedical engineering, and uh, I got my master's and my bachelor's in mechanical engineering. I've had a lot of experiences in my life related to civil engineering, mechanical engineering, biomedical engineering, robotics engineering, uh, even biomechanics and finite element, element simulation. So uh, I've got a pretty well-rounded background behind me. Now, I came to Doan uh, because Doan is something that I believe the future of engineering education is moving towards. Uh, a lot of the pedagogy in upper level academic institutions now recognizes that engineers need to be better problem solvers. And this is a consistent industry criticism too. Engineers have to be problem solvers. Good problem solvers are hired just for their problem solving skills. So some engineers will be hired just simply because they know how to solve problems. And Doan's program really emphasizes the problem solving process. We do so beginning the very first semester. We work with our students every semester afterwards, trying to really develop how to, how to attack problems, how to analyze problems, how to move forward, what to deal with when you make a mistake, when you have a failure, you design something that doesn't work. How do you handle that? It's all part of the problem solving process. And Don's program is really heavily invested in developing the problem solving skills of our students. Now we do so in the context of teaching the high level mathematics and science that is required of every engineer. So the Doan engineering degree uh, has four emphasis areas associated with it. You can get an engineering degree with a mechanical emphasis, a civil emphasis, an electrical emphasis, and an environmental emphasis. Uh, these emphasis areas are very much akin to what you would get with a full degree in mechanical engineering or civil engineering. Uh, but the goal of, of doing it this way is this gives our program a lot more flexibility so that we can have students who are getting a mechanical emphasis, who only have interest in going on and doing mechanical engineering projects after they graduate, uh, we can take a student with a mechanical emphasis and have them work with an environmental emphasis. Both of them are getting engineering degrees, but because of their emphasis areas, they're taking slightly different courses, they're understanding material in different areas, and it really gives them a different perspective. And our students are able to take classes outside of their emphasis areas too, if they really want to, to try to broaden their understanding. The goal of our program is, is to give everyone the tools to be able to communicate between disciplines and to really recognize that as an engineer you don't have to limit yourself to only doing one type of work. Uh, most engineers have to develop a very cogent set of skills, communication, teamwork, project management, uh, fundamental knowledge areas, and all of these things combine into what is an engineer. We really, when we de designed this program, we focused on those areas and we said, we're going to make engineers. We're going to give them the ability to diversify into different areas, the civil, mechanical, environmental, electrical, and we're going to, to really focus on having these engineers work together to do hands-on problems, to attack real problems, uh, and be able to take those skills and move on forward with their lives. Our program uh, currently is not ABET accredited. Uh, this is one of the things that we've been working on. We were scheduled to have an ABET accreditation visit uh, this year. Uh, unfortunately, due to the coronavirus, we had to postpone that a year. Uh, but we are in the process of pursuing ABET accreditation. Um, we will know whether or not we have received it uh, within the next few years. So uh, that is a, a little piece about our program. Uh, but we are working in that direction. Um, beyond that, what we have is we really focus on a lot of hands-on projects. And this is kind of the meat of where our program is. Uh, with the hands-on projects, we allow our students to really dig deep into the material. Uh, one of the guiding philosophies that I like telling all of our students is that if you learn something but you don't understand how to use that material that you learned, you didn't really use it. So 
For example, right now I'm teaching a control systems class, and as a part of this class, I am having my students develop a control system uh, for an intelligent lighting system that, th that they're building. And the students are sitting down there and programming it, they're making all the electrical connections, soldering it. Uh, this is an opportunity for our students not just to understand physical hardware, but to understand the inner machinations of what makes a control system. Uh, and I think that that is what makes our, our program so unique. We can give students real-world experiences, real projects to work on. Uh, we've worked on a number of projects for industries, such as uh, last year we had students working on designing a, a, a park space. They drew up a bunch of civil engineering plans for a park space here in Crete. Uh, most recently we did a partnership with Enerlux here out of Crete, Nebraska and we were helping them optimize their painting um, the way that their painting setup is so that they can be more efficient in that process. Um, these are real projects that our students are being able to get involved in that really gives them the ability to jump in and recognize everything from project management uh, to physical construction to analysis uh, to, to really critical thinking on their project skills to see the entire process. And we're, we've been fortunate to have really great industry partners too who have allowed us to pursue some of these projects. Um, now, what makes us able to do these types of projects is that we have a really small, small team environment here. Uh, I know all of my students' names. I know all their emphasis areas. I know what they want to do in their lives. Uh, this is a conversation that we have constantly. I've looked over all their resumes, had them all write portfolios. Uh, this, is, this is the kind of thing that, that experience that I have with these students where they're not just a number to me. They're not just somebody who showed up to my class who I won't remember the next semester. Uh, these are people and I treat them like people. We all do. Our whole department does. Uh, and this is something that Doan does in general. We treat our students like people. And because of the, the small team environment that Doan has, we have the ability to really tackle these bigger projects. I can communicate with my students and have them work on projects that are much bigger than just, uh, well, let's sit down and draw something on paper and here I'll throw a textbook at it and the theory is, is great. We have the ability to work on real projects. Uh, and this has an impact on the students. The students like the fact that they get to have a say in how things are done out in the community. They get to go out to businesses and say, I did a project for that business. Uh, and and it's, it's really an extraordinary opportunity for them. Um, so this has also given our students a lot of understanding about how industry works. Uh, we've received an extraordinarily positive feedback from industry. Uh, from our students who have gone out in internships and who have gotten full-time jobs. We've had some students who, after getting an internship, are immediately offered a full-time job. We've had some students uh, who, um, this past year, there were companies that canceled their internship programs except for Doan students. Because the Doan students were that influential, uh, they knew that they could rely on the Doan students to provide a good solution. Uh, some of the feedback we've had is our students are hard workers. Now, that's kind of the case for a lot of Doan students. Uh, Doan is built very much such that our students have to work hard. You can be smart and be a good engineer, but really you have to be a hard worker. And because of that, there's a lot of people who can go in and be an engineer just because you work hard. And Doan fosters that hardworking environment and it really carries into the industry feedback that we get. Doan students work hard, and because Doan students work hard, they're showing up on time, they're communicating well, they know how to work in a team environment, they understand what's being asked of them, they can work independently, they can do a lot of problem solving, and uh, this is very consistent feedback that we've gotten from a lot of our employers. Doan students are exceptional. Uh, we've even been told at some points that they would, a company would rather hire one Doan student than 10 students from a larger institution. And uh, it's, well, I'll brag about that all day because uh, you don't get that kind of amazing feedback. Uh, but this is the kind of stuff we're doing. And this is why I'm here at Doan. Because 
I like the fact that we're doing enge engineering education at a very powerful level. And we're giving these students the ability to go succeed in life. And the students are enjoying it because they get to do hands-on projects, they get to engage in their material. They're really going to understand what's going on when they learn something in class. So this is Don't Engineering.